We're having a good time And we are sharing our gratitude And we are doing it in rhyme And if we lift up our attitude We have a lot to say On this glorious day And if you join me with some words of praise We'll have a lot of fun having it with everyone. And if we got hands on our arms, let's raise. Yeah, it's time for love morning. Love morning now. Do, 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 do. It's time for love morning. Come on, I'll show you how. Do, 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 do. We just share a little gratitude and then we get present together. We share. Focus on a little connection and then we celebrate the weather. It's time for love morning. Love morning now. Good morning. Welcome to this day. It is a glorious Sunday morning. I am in Topanga. Where are you? If you are here watching this recording or listening live, say hello. Let us know where you are physically. Share something that you're grateful for or even just leave a little smiley face so that we know that you're here. Part of the Love Morning intention is to recognize that we're not alone. So says the acorn that just dropped onto this beautiful little Airbnb. Good morning, Aaron. Hello, good morning to you. I was just rereading the poem that you co-created with ChatGPT. So love that. Good morning, Ariel. Ariel is thankful for being able to enjoy my positive vibes. Hugs from DC. Thank you. Thank you for adding your positive vibes to our gathering. And I am live right now on YouTube and on Facebook. Hello to you, Gerbot. Good morning. Hmm, I wonder how am I am I streaming clearly? I changed a setting that should make it better, but it's not looking very clear to me. Hmm, well, my, uh, I will continue to chip away at this digital solution. I am grateful for, as I conclude my visit here in Topanga and head to Santa Barbara today, so grateful for this trip that I am on with a very special person. Uh, I've known now for a month. We realized yesterday that we met a month ago, and uh, it was a love at first sight kind of uh, experience. Um, at least for me, I had to hit her over the head and put her in my trunk and convince her with uh, a lot of coercion that she also had feelings for me. But, you know, that's the past. The point is, now she seems very happy in my trunk, and, um, you know, we have an agreement. Um, that was bad taste. My apologies. But I am on a road trip. Super great for Topanga. I, this is a, I love this area. So many cool trees, and we went on a beautiful hike. And um, the cafes that we visited have just been beautiful. It seems like a little little like a upscale hippie-ish, cool, outskirts of LA kind of thing. Um, I find myself, like, I think a younger version of me would be a little bit intimidated uh, by the amount of beautiful people and expensive clothes. That's, uh, younger me was intimidated by all sorts of things. Good morning, Tony. Happy Sunday to you. Good morning, David. David says, finally back in a time zone where I can join live. Awesome. Good to have you here. <laughs> Aaron says, I'm good for wrong numbers and a chance to be a love ambassador. Do I look squished? How interesting. Man. Well, I'm on the road. I'm using some different tools.
tools to to broadcast and so perhaps it will perhaps will I don't know I guess we'll just call it a miracle that in whatever state that the fact that I'm in a physical different location for you and we are basically sharing a moment we'll just celebrate that and say grateful for that good morning Jennifer if you're joining us say hello um I I'm grateful that I'm planning on going to Agape today. Agape is a church in Culver City. I thought it was Culver City, but the address says uh, Beverly Hills. Uh, Michael Beckwith is the minister there, and I have had beautiful experiences there in the past. Michael Beckwith is such an amazing speaker, and um, the the ceremonies there, the sermons are just incredible. Um, and... Last time I went to Agape, Stevie Wonder played a song to give you an idea of how cool this church is. Um, and so I'm kind of, I'm like half an hour away and I have uh, some time today. So I'm going to go to Agape and, and try to, in, unless something else calls to me on the way, I'm trying to follow instinct and intuition, but that feels like the thing that I should do right now. So looking forward to that. Uh, 11 o'clock, if anyone is nearby and wants to meet me at a, at the service or for lunch afterwards. I'm, I've got some time today till about two or three that I'm just kind of making myself busy before we go off on the rest of our adventure to Santa Barbara. So I'm grateful for that. Grateful for some just really deep and beautiful conversations and growth experiences and, and surrendering into a, a beautiful story. Um, Anyone else have something that they're grateful for? I need to pack up this Airbnb and hit the road soon, so I will probably make this not too long of a morning broadcast, a love morning. Um, I am grateful for the Airbnb host, George, who brought us by homemade apricot tart pastry and uh, a cappuccino or uh, espresso yesterday which was so lovely to get like a served room service at the airbnb of this just tasty treats and yeah grateful for all the interactions i went to a hat shop yesterday it said like custom made hats because I keep seeing people with these cool, like, flat-brimmed hats. And I, I had a feeling that they were expensive. Now, this place is a custom-made hat store. So, like, they have hats on the wall. And they're, like, you know, they have cool accents. I don't know where they're from. But they're, like, those are just, you know, ready to go. But, you know, you can, any look, any color, and, you know, we can make them for you. But the, guess how much the ready-to-made ones were on the wall. They had a beanie, a cashmere beanie that was on sale for $80. And uh, not all the hats had price tags, but one I picked up, I'm like, this one's cool. $750. Now, I am not saying it's not worth that. I mean, these are artists who are custom making hats. You know, you figure it probably takes some number of hours and this is, they're the, probably the best in the world at this, and they deserve that kind of money. But um, it's just not what I'm used to spending on clothing. I think the last hat I bought was a foam trucker hat, and I think I spent $12 on it. And then I glue gunned a patch on it that said, float more, steer less. So which, and I, the patch was custom made. It cost me, I think, 11 bucks. So that hat was 25 bucks roughly, which... If you do the math, is less than seven hundred fifty dollars. Uh, Jennifer says, "I am so grateful that God is looking out for and protecting my son." And Gerbot says, "I'm grateful for good friends and having time to spend with them." Yay! I'm also I'm grateful for new friends. I was I met a friend of my new friend yesterday. And it was so wonderful to drop in deeply with a person that I had never met before and get to really feel the heart and passion and uh, energy of a new friend. 
and especially since they're a friend of a friend, it's like almost like you you can they're vetted, and so it's a it's it was a cool feeling to have immediate connection with somebody. Love having old friends and love making new friends. Tony says, my favorite number just popped up. 69 days till the man burns. Super grateful to be going for the first time. 69 days. Oh my gosh, I need to get my act together. There's so much I need to do. Or I get to do. So much I get to do. So I'm, I will change that attitude because I am so grateful that I even know about Burning Man. I'm so grateful that I found out about it so long ago. I'm so grateful that I have access to tickets and access to a beautiful camp and so grateful that that experience is an opportunity that I have available to me. There you go. That's that's a better attitude than I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about AC and temperature and all that stuff. David says, grateful for spending time with my nephews this morning. Yay! I was just watching a video last night of, of uh, my I, for my nephew seven years ago. My nephew Caleb had a show that we did called Awesome News Network, and he I would tell him some news story and show him a video, and then he would talk about it, and I would edit it into a little uh, a little show on YouTube. It, it was really cute, and I remembered how much fun I used to have with my nephew. Haven't quite connected with him quite so deeply lately, but so it made me really want to miss him and want to see him. Um, so I'm glad you're having nephew time. All right, we're getting ready to... Oh, I, I, I did not buy the $750 hat, Jennifer. I do not have it. Um, and I, it, I don't have a picture of it. But it was cool. Maybe I'll see if they, they have a website, if I can remember it. But it was definitely cool. But I'd have to wear no other clothes That'd be my clothing budget for like a couple of years. So I just have to be naked in that hat. Eh, that's a, that would be a look for sure. Okay, let's have a hug and then hop into our days. Um, so wherever you are, before we do this, let me say, Great Gerbot is grateful for being able to find a ticket this year. Yeah, look at this. We're all in pre-burn mode together. Love it. Well, wherever you are, give yourself a big squeeze. Mm, and be appreciative of this body and this day ahead of us and potentially even a burn ahead. But even more so this present moment and this moment of connection and the opportunity to be an agent of connection today, a love ambassador as we go through this day. I'm going to remember that as I head to this church that I'm unfamiliar with and try to keep my eyes up and be friendly. And all of us try to be eyes up and friendly to the people we pass today as we Feel ourselves connected to one another and feel the strength of that connection as we take a deep breath in and squeeze. <sighs> On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you, thank you for being a part of this connection, this love morning, and a part of Hug Nation. I love you. We do this every day at 9 a.m. live. If you missed the beginning of this particular recording, I urge you to watch the archive and listen to the song. It was Chef's Kiss. Have a great day. Bye, Gerbot. Bye, Tony. Bye, David. Bye, Jennifer and Aaron and Sean. Oh, cool. Right at the wire. Sean says, I'm grateful for many things, but recently grateful to head to Morocco to see the burn community expand and grow. Wonderful event there by Sahar Art Camp. Also grateful to be heading to the playa next week for Juplaya. Oh my gosh, is that next week? Oh boy. I'll be at a fellowship too, but Universalist one. Nice peeps. Yay! Awesome, Sean. Sean, thanks for adding your energy uh, into my day. I love you, brother. And I love you all. Have a beautiful day.